Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance and today I'm going to do the 100 hour review on the Walker B27i. To be honest, it's actually a bit more than that, it's probably 130 hours. I've not had time to do this review yet, so today I decided I would do the 100 hour review and uh, tell you more about this more and what I think of it so far. All right guys, so I ordered this machine back in the springtime. I uh, ordered it around May and we didn't get it till about, I think it was end of June. Uh, they were back ordered pretty uh, bad up here, so we were just waiting for them to come up here. We finally got it, I was excited to get it. Uh, this is my third walker I've had, and I, as you know, watch my YouTube channel, I love walkers. So, more about this mower. This is a 27i, uh, sorry, B27i uh, mower. It has uh, the 52 inch mulching deck on it. Um, and this deck is huge. Uh, I'm used to running the 48 inch deck and when I stepped up to this deck It was quite a bit bigger uh, than the 40. I was not used to it uh, But we were able to use this on all, Actually, we were able to use it on all our yards I had a concern that we wouldn't be able to use this on on some of our yards But we were able to get it everywhere we needed to which was fantastic um, now For the first thing off the deck uh, Like I said, it is big um, the one thing I don't like about it is I'm kind of short, or I'm not sure, I'm, I'm tall, but I like to have my feet on the extended part out here. And when I'm riding, I can't really do that because it's too long. Um, so I got my feet up here uh, most of the time or all the time. Um, I know you can get the uh, uh, other footrest to put up here. I should look into that, but it'd be really cool if they could get the seat to move back and forth for, for people, uh, especially with these bigger decks. I'd love to see that, but um, I think that's why they make the other uh, footrests up here so that you know you can just put your feet here. So the, the deck so far for us has been working really well. Um, I have no complaints against it. Um, it's it's been working really good for us. Uh, cuts, cuts the grass really well. It doesn't matter if it's uh, rainy, long grass. Um, it cuts everything fantastic. So uh, I love the deck so far. It's fantastic. All right, more about this machine. So uh, this was kind of hard to get used to at first um, because everything on it is backwards uh, compared to the T25i. So the throttle, the edge of the throttle is on the same side, but um, the the choke is on. Sorry, the the engine speed is on this side, and on the T it's on this side. The brake is on this side here, and I believe on a T. It's on the other side. The PTO is on this side of the T. The PTO here is right up here. So everything's kind of backwards. Uh, whenever I'm riding this and then jump on the T, I'm kind of fiddling around trying to f find where everything is. Um, but anyways, uh, I like the, the PTO. The PTO is actually fantastic. It's a magnetic PTO. Um, so you still, you still start at up half speed, uh, but I find it works a lot better than the um, pulley. Uh, PTO just because uh, it doesn't have a um, it doesn't have the chance to pull off the, the belt or whatnot and you don't have to be as careful with it but the magnetic one is working pretty good so far I haven't had any um, problems with it yet um, I'm hoping I don't have any problems with it uh, so yeah anyways that's, that's the PTO um, I wrote a couple notes let me look at my notes quickly um, so the pros is a 25.6 engine so like I said already it's 52 inch deck uh, and the oil, the oil on this is, you don't have to change it every 50 hours, you have to change it every 300 hours, which is awesome. Um, now saying that, uh, like I said, we're at like three, or 100 and some odd hours, 140 hours now on the mower. Um, changing it every 50 hours was kind of a hassle, I, I hated doing that. Um, but you know, it, it's pretty easy to change the oil, oil on the machines, but the 300 hour oil is going to be a lot more nicer to change. So next season, I probably won't even have to change the, the engine oil at all, or maybe by the end of the season I'll have to. Now saying that, the engine oil, I have no clue how expensive this oil is. Um, it's probably going to be quite a bit more than the regular oil, I'm guessing, as well as the uh, fuel or sorry, oil filter. I'm going to guess that's maybe a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm not sure what they do to make it last that long. I'm not much of an engine guy, so I don't know what the different types of oil do and whatnot, but I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit more expensive to change the oil on it. Um, and the other oh, the other pro for this machine is this thing holds hills amazing. Um, I can get on some nice steep hills and I have no problem with it at all. Uh, where the T, when I take it on, I feel like I can tip the whole machine over. Now that could be because on this machine we've got the two tail wheels, the split tail wheels on the on the T. It's just a single wheel. 
at the back so that kind of helps with the stabilization with the two wheels on the back spread out like that which is which is nice um the body of this let me get off just quickly i like i like this one it's really easy to get into you just flip this up and then on this side there's a little lever you pull it and push that up and it gets in the engine really nicely and it's uh, nice and open so it's really easy to do this one Okay, another pro of this machine, um, as well as the T25i, it's got the fuel gauge on here, which is nice. Um, on my first walk of the 20 MC or MC20, it did not have a fuel gauge, so you kind of have to just look at the machine and gas where it was. Um, but yeah, I like the fuel gauge on this, it's fantastic. Um, what I was going to say, overall, the, this machine is pretty fantastic, I love it. Um, so now the cons, the things I don't really like about it, which I would like to change. Um, at first, so for being at 100 hours, uh, there's paint already chipping on it. Over here on the battery side, uh, there's paint already coming off of it, and it's starting to rust on the on the battery box. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. You think on a machine only 100 hours or 100 hours old that the paint would not start chipping on it or peeling off. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. Um, another disappointment I have is the engine right here, the engine throttle. Um, one. It's kind of awkward to hold. It's kind of like a bent shape, like L, and it, it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, on the other walkers, there's it's like a knob or like a, a round part, and it's a lot more comfortable to hold. Um, so it's kind of, you know, I, I don't really like it. I'm used to it now, but it does hurt your hand after a while. Um, and the other thing about the handle here is the rubber on it is already coming off. It's, it's kind of all chewed out, so you're, all you're really holding is metal almost. Um, I'll be showing you that in a minute with that, but that's kind of annoying that that's like that. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. Um, I may have to tape it up or something. So that's that's the one thing I don't like about that as well. It's kind of awkward. Um, let me see what else. Okay, so that's for that. Okay, and other than that, um, this machine has been really awesome for us. Uh, I've been talking to some other guys on Instagram and YouTube and whatnot, and uh, they all want to buy this machine. They, they've been thinking about it for a while, and honestly, I say buy it. This machine was fantastic. Um, so let me give you the price of this machine in Canada. This machine in Canada, I paid $17,000 after taxes. Um, it's quite expensive up here. All, all machines are expensive up here. Um, when, when I hear the prices are in the States, I'm like, wow. But like, that's what it is. Um, I love the machine. I, I, I think it's worth paying the price for it. Um, the other feature I love about these machines are that you're flipping the deck up and it's very easy to get to, to the um, the blades to change them and sharpen them and whatever else you need to do with them. So yeah, that's uh, my review of this mower. Uh, if you do want to buy this mower, I do absolutely recommend it. Um, other than those other couple issues that I've had, um, I absolutely love this machine. Um, this has been like the best walker I have used so far and owned. Uh, I don't think I will go back to another T model. Um, I do like not having the box on. It's nice because when you turn around, you don't have to watch out as much, you can, and and you can get under things a lot better. So if you've got low hanging trees, you can get under the trees uh, very good as well. All right, guys, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.